What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about the relativistic Lagrangian and Hamiltonian. From our previous discussion, we defined the Lagrangian L to be equal to the difference between the kinetic energy of the system T and the potential energy of the system U. And using the Euler-Lagrange equation, we can determine the equations of motion of a particle under certain coordinates. On the other hand, the Hamiltonian H has been defined to be equal to the sum of qi dot pi for all i's minus L, where qi dot is the generalized velocity of the particle in coordinate i, pi is the generalized momentum for that specific coordinate. And if we consider particle in a conservative field, this Hamiltonian is supposed to be equal to the total mechanical energy. C plus U. However, these definitions are only applicable if we consider non-relativistic cases where the speed of the particle is much slower than the speed of light. So therefore, if we're going to consider the relativistic effects, we have to have a new formulation for the Lagrangian and Hamiltonian. So if we're going to recall, for a particle whose potential does not depend on the velocity, the momentum is given by pi equals the partial derivative of L with respect to qi dots, where qi dots is the velocity in coordinate qi and L is the non-relativistic Lagrangian. On the other hand, the relativistic momentum is defined as pi equals gamma mi qi dots or mi qi dot divided by square root of 1 minus beta squared where m is the mass of the particle, beta is defined as the ratio of the speed of the particle q dot to the speed of light c. So therefore, these two must be equivalent. That is, partial derivative of L with respect to qi dot is equal to m qi dot over square root of 1 minus beta squared. So you will notice here that this equation is in terms of velocity only. So therefore, because we only consider that the potential energy only depends on position and not on velocity, thus we can validly written this equation as the partial derivative of T star with respect to QI dot equals M QI dot over square root of 1 minus beta squared. Here, we define T star as a function that depends on the velocity and it is part of the Lagrangian. So therefore, we can rewrite the Lagrangian as the sum of the velocity-dependent function and the position-dependent function. We could rewrite this as L equals T star minus U. As you will see in a bit, T star will not be the same as the relativistic kinetic energy. So solving for T star, we have integral of the derivative of T star with respect to QI dots dQI dot equals the integral of MQI dot divided by square root of 1 minus beta squared dQI dot. By trigonometric substitution, T star is now equal to negative MC squared times the square root of 1 beta squared. Now, it's your task to determine how we end up with this equation. So using this expression, we can now rewrite the relativistic Lagrangian as L equals negative mc squared times square root of 1 minus beta squared minus the potential energy u. This expression allows us to calculate the corresponding equations of motion of a particle with relativistic speeds using the usual Euler-Lagrange equations. So here it is important to note that T star, as I mentioned earlier, is not the same as the relativistic kinetic energy. So from the expression of the relativistic momentum, QI dot in terms of PI is written as QI dot equals PI times square root of 1 minus B squared over M. So therefore, the Hamiltonian, which can be calculated as the sum of qi dot pi minus L, can now be rewritten as h equals sum of pi squared 
times the square root of 1 minus beta squared over m for all i's plus mc squared times square root of 1 minus beta squared plus u. Using the definition of the Lorentz factor gamma, which is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared, and considering one direction at first, we can rewrite the Hamiltonian as p squared over gamma m plus mc squared over gamma plus u. Taking note that the total energy E is given by E squared equals P squared C squared plus M squared C to the fourth or gamma M C squared squared. Then the Hamiltonian H is rewritten as 1 over gamma M C squared times P squared C squared plus M squared C to the fourth plus U or E squared over gamma M C squared plus U or simply E plus U, or T plus U plus E naught, where E is equal to T plus E naught. Now this shows, finally, that the relativistic Hamiltonian is just equal to the total mechanical energy T plus U plus the less energy E naught. So that's it. That's the relativistic Lagrangian and the Hamiltonian. I hope you learned something today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.